Welcome back to the weekly What's Up. I'm Glennis here with beautiful Maddie, who is assisting me this week. Maddie, do you have picks of the week? I do. I have a bunch of awesome picks of the week. So this week we have a lot of awesome X-Men stuff happening. Uh, we have the second issue of Webman X featuring Wolverine, my absolute favorite. It's awesome. Start reading it. This one's totally my favorite of the three, but we also have X-Men Gold, also got Wolverine on the cover. Good choices all around Marvel. And X-Men Blue, if you're more into the Magneto side of things. Um, so these are both really awesome. They're the new X-Men series. If you're into X-Men, read them all, get into it. I'm excited to see where these series go. Check them out. These are gonna be the only X titles out because all of the rest of them got the boot. So if you're reading current X-Men, this is the new titles to jump on because Marvel is doing what they're doing. They're being funky. On the DC side of things, someone was reading my diary. It's Harley Quinn and Lex Luthor, y'all. No joke, that, that 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 was in her diary. It was scribbled in, in you know, like a third grade of stick figures, but you could definitely tell yeah. it was Harley Harley Quinn plus Lex, Lex Luthor equals hearts. Plus. Yeah. Now, for my picks of the week. <laughs> um, so, Old Guard is on number three, and it comes out this week. It looks like this. It's for Purdy. And we also have issues one and issues two. And this story is one that we had uh, put up on the picks of the week before because it's Greg Rucka and I really enjoy Greg Rucka's writing. He is currently writing Wonder Woman and has written Wonder Woman in the past. That was actually really good. And uh, I think that this new storyline for Old Guard is really interesting. It's got dynamic storytelling like Rucka does, just fast and hard, gets you right into the story, no ifs, ands, or buts. And by issue two, they kind of explain what the characters are going through and who you have to look out for. And issue three is just as action packed. They're thick, they're dense, they're no ads, and it's just boom, 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 action, action, action. And the storytelling is really, really fulfilling. So pick them all up. If you read them all three together, it'll be much more uh, enjoyable than having to wait every month, because now I have to wait every month. Uh, but it's a really great story, and if you haven't gotten into some old school Greg Rucka stuff, we have more trades in stock if you want to catch up on some Wonder Woman. And for fun stuff happening, not this week, but next week, we have Star Wars Day, May the 4th. I know we've been talking about it. I know you've been getting excited about it. May the 4th is all day Star Wars Fest here at the Hideout. We're doing a movie marathon. We're doing a costume contest. We're doing a huge sale. And we also have free comic book day on May 6th, Saturday. Super, super exciting. We're gonna have so many amazing things. It's the last day of our awesome sale. We have free comics, obviously. Glennis and I are going to be dressed up. Um, cosplay, cosplay contest, cosplayers will be in costume. Yeah. We won't be having a bounce house for this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the weekly What's Up. We'll see you next week.